Hello, welcome to the first episode of Redstone Rules. In, in this series, I will be teaching you how to do redstone. From the very, very beginning, which is this episode, to like making amazing, amazing stuff. Now, first of all, first thing you need to know is which, anything which can open an iron door, like a lever, a redstone torch, a pressure plate, or a button, conducts an, a redstone current. Which basically means that anything which can open a, a iron door can power something redstone related. Now, for, now, to do a very simple basic thing for redstone is is redstone going into a block. Now, it must be facing into a block like this to power the block. The, when the block is powered, hang on. Okay, never mind. When the block is powered, it will send out redstone currents in all directions around it. For example, here, here, and here. Now, do that, it will send out redstone currents all around it because it's, cause it's a block and it will send out res. Like I said, it will send out redstone currents as long as the repeater is facing at the block. Like this, and this. Now, what, what is a repeater for, you may ask? Well, a repeater is for causing lag in between two transmis transmutations, I think it is. Trans transmissions between to redstone. Now, for now, for example, it's on it's furthest away from the front one to the back one. That would cause the most amount of lag. Now, if we put it right up close, it would cause the least amount of lag, which might be what you want. I'm not sure it's here. I'll get rid of that. Now, you the shorter version of this is like this. Of that is like this, because this is powering, is powering, it's powering this block, which is sent out into this block. A block can be air, so like the block, that, the block that I'm looking at right now, like where I'm standing, is a block, and it can be powered by redstone. And then therefore, okay, so the redstone torch powers this block, which, which turns this redstone torch off because they're naturally on, and since redstone torches can be affected by well more redstone, it will turn it. It will turn the rest of the torch off, and then it will. And then I'm trying to make it power into this one, which won't do anything because it will just. It's there's no redstone current here, causing that to happen. And if I turn it off though, that would all. This would switch around, causing that to turn on. I'm do it again. It all switches again. I done it wrong. Sometimes they lock up like that. So as you go, that will work. Now you're probably thinking, hang on, why won't this work? Well, that's because the red the redstone torch isn't actually powering into the block, it's powering it's powering this block but but isn't being transported straight into this block. Now certain things don't work with the air block and normal block technique. But you don't need to worry about that right now because you're just trying to be a, a grade one redstone. So this just doesn't work. You need to be powering it into the block like this. And then I'll be turning that off and then well there you go. That's it. Now, redstone torches can power it in the four different directions of here, of left of it, up of it, right of it, and down of, and down of it. And will not power here unless you had a connection between the up, down, or left, or right of the redstone torch. Any any redstone power can travel 15 blocks of redstone and it will just run out. And to, to make the redstone charge go further, as you can tell it just dies, to make it go further, you need a redstone repeater, which turns it back to the ultimate level of like redstone capacity and make it last much further but it doesn't but it doesn't sub it doesn't create a redstone power it just transmits it into making it go further so i think it was here yes i'm just recreating it that's, that's, if i mess it up which i probably won't now redstone torches can power the blocks on top of them which can be very which can be useful because then it can power you can power this block this block this block this block and this block which, like, which is quite useful. So, say if you wanted to p to do this, then you can. And if you wanted to turn it all off at the same time, you can. Which would be very useful. So, with the redstone torch underneath it, we can, we can do that, and it will power all those things, even without the redstone on top of it. Which is quite cool. Now, we're going to get into our first creation of redstone. Which is called a bud, a bub switch, I think. A flip. I call it a flip flop because it's easier that way. Blah. Now flip flops are turned on by uh, 
they are turned on by chunk updates. As you can tell, only six or eleven are happening when it's happening. If we do this, it will cause a chunk update. Uh, block. Hang on. So if you do this, it will cause a. If you do, if you do that, it will cause a block update, causing the redstone to change, and then it can repeat that to make something happen like that. Like it can be creating a block or destroying a block. Certain things won't work with the Bob switch, but certain. But you have to look it up whether you can use it or not, and it's just trial and error mainly with redstone. And now, if you've if you've memorized all that and know it all off by heart, you're officially a redstone grader one. <laughs>